Hello, everybody. I'm Biff Roberts. Meet the Cutoff Man. What is the Cutoff Man, and what is its use? Well, as a former coach, what it does for me is allow my practice to flow. And what do I mean by flow? Flow means whenever I'm hitting a bucket of baseballs to my team, and they're throwing a bucket of baseballs into a net, I no longer have to pick up those baseballs. I simply go to the cutoff man and exchange buckets, allowing my practice to flow, keeping my players into the practice, and keeping us at an up tempo. It's one of those situations where it solves the problems of picking up baseballs. I think it's the coach's best friend. I'm Brian Gwynn, head coach of Contra Costa, Costa College Baseball. Also, I'm the director of instruction of shortstop management baseball. I would recommend the cutoff man because it keeps it keeps me in tune with my players. I can go one-on-one -on -one a lot better, especially when I have a two-hour practice. I can bring a kid out and I get a lot, of work, lot more work done in that two-hour frame. My name is Brian Gwynn Jr., also known as BJ. Playing ball for six years professionally. I played at Cal Division One. I. I played at Berkeley High School. Played started playing baseball when I was about five years old. So a lot of times you do need an extra person if you want to throw across the diamond. You need that extra guy to catch for you. But with the cutoff man, I can throw as much as I need to. I can get as many reps as I need to in about half the time. You no longer have to pick up baseballs. So when I'm a coach and I'm hitting my player a baseball and he's throwing it into the cutoff man and my bucket is empty, I simply go to the cutoff man and I exchange the buckets. It only takes me 10 seconds. It's a one man job now. What I would do, I would set the cutoff man right behind second base when, I hit, when I'm hitting balls to my shortstop and he can work on his pivot. He can work on his underhand flip right to the second base. Also, I can set it up at first base and he can work on his accuracy, making two direct throws right into the cutoff man. Another thing I like about it also is when I'm working with kids, we can actually work on connecting throwing without having an extra person. So they can practice fielding and combine it with throwing without the need of an extra individual. What does this do? It teaches and it trains. What you need in baseball is skill. You have to have footwork, you have to get your arm up in position, shoulder in position to make the perfect throw. The cutoff man, if you don't do those things, will show you your weaknesses. If you do the right things, you become polished. And when you become polished, you become a better player. Now let me tell you how easy it is to use a cutoff man. Simply unfold it, it has wheels on it. You simply roll it around the infield, the outfield, wherever you want. So this machine right here, the cutoff man, it's easy for that one person to go out and get his work in, not have to worry about having five or six people. So it's an easy machine to move around. So you take it to position to position, only takes you a couple seconds. I can tell you this, as a former coach, with the cutoff man, it makes my practices a lot simpler. My kids have a tendency to learn more, and we get more out of each and every practice. Our practices are spirited, emotional, and they flow. Never boring, as we always used to say in baseball. Keep it live.